Hi friends, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. I have a treat for you today. I know you've seen my friend Kara on the channel before, but she is a highly accomplished firearms instructor and yet here in the valley, she said, hey, John, I wanna train a little bit, so I wanna ask her why. I use Thrum targets on the range for all the benefits of steel with none of the drawbacks. They're made in the USA too. Pick up a set to make your shooting more fun and effective. So Kara, you own Spirit Firearms Training and out of Bentonville, mm -hmm. right? Um, now you have been to the uh, evidence-based pistol skills class, what, like four three, times? Three times. Three times. And, and, and two hour deal at the conference. Yeah, and the conference, and been to the conference multiple times. Now, uh, also an active self-protection certified instructor. Been through our instructor certification program. That's a lot of work. And a you, ton of work, but learned a ton, stretched stretched really hard. Yeah, 130 hour yeah. program over six months and it, it takes a bunch of work. And and you obviously, I mean, I see a lot of firearms trainers that don't, they don't go train much. They go, I'm a teacher, not mm -hmm. a student. Why do you train so much? I think you you always have to be a learner. And you know, you, you think things are stagnant in the gun world, they're not. Things change all the time. Yes. We find little bits of efficiency. Or we find little different ways to, to work with people. And so I, I feel like I've just hit the tip of the iceberg. I think there's so much more that I need to learn to do and get better at myself, so. Well, I think like, you know, so I've been a professional instructor now for about 12 years, something like that. I've been doing the, the firearms instructor thing and then been in the firearms world for, you know, six or seven years longer than that. And the amount of, of kind of change in, in best practices in that 15 years or so is, is pretty significant. Vast. And if you just go, oh, okay, I went and got a cert certificate and then now I'm good and I, I don't have to change, I don't have to grow, mm -hmm. um, I, I think I just don't understand that mindset. It is fun. It's fun to, fun to train too. I don't know. I, I love it. I, I, if I could train every weekend, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's another good point. It's like, listen, hopefully, and I, okay, you and I have both been to classes that weren't fun. Uh -huh. You're right. And, and we don't want to do that, right? But generally speaking, firearms training, if you go to gun school for the weekend, it's a fun time. It is. It's your people. Right. It's, it's, it's your tribe. And um, that it's just special time. Hmm. So. Uh, so as an instructor, tell me uh, what class is non-instructor non level, okay. right? So non-instructor level class, but what class recently for you was full of aha moments? Um, non-instructor, that stuff. Well, the, the last full class I took was Brian Hill's two-day red dot. And I had done his one-day red dot, um, so, and I've done his deliberate coaching, and so mm -hmm. I did his two-day red dot at the end of August. Mm. And I'd been working with a dot for about two and a half years. I've been carrying a dot for about a year and a half now. And uh, just tidbits to take away that, that I'm still working at getting that dot to drop in from 12 o'clock down and, and finding that, you know, Brian's a big stance. It's all about where the feet are. And so still working on that so that the rest of my body aligns properly to bring everything in. So the grip starts with the ground. Right. So Yeah, yeah, you're, you're truly transferring forces into the ground. And Brian is just, I think he's just a master of that. Oh this red gosh. dot class is, yeah. I mean, I've taken some great red dot classes, but Brian Hill's red dot class is, I think, I, I got more tidbits out of that and more aha moments mm -hmm. out of that. Uh, so I totally agree with you yes. on that. Um, what are you looking forward to? Well, obviously, uh, you're coming to Arkansas in April, so I'm looking forward to that. Like, uh, she's like, I just can't have enough. Like no, another yeah. evidence-based pistol well, and skills. and you're going to do a shotgun class, and yeah. I'm not a shotgun person. So I don't actually own one yet, but I've signed up for the class. So by golly, I'm going to have one by the time <laughs> April rolls around. But, um, and John Murphy. So mm. I'm taking John Murphy's Street Encounter Skills class in March. Mm. So we're bringing him to Arkansas in March as well. So well, that's what I'm looking forward to, because a lot of people say that's their, been their favorite class to take. So... I'm Murph really is a good class. And Neil and I love teaching shotgun. Like, you know, I, I, I love teaching defensive shotgun. It's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. And I world. know nothing about it. So I want to at least speak intelligently about it when I have a student that asks. Nice. I have no clue right now. All right, here's my question for you all. What are you looking forward to? What is the best class you've taken in the last couple years? And what class are you most looking forward to in 2023? Kara, let's go shoot a little, should we? Absolutely.